What is going on everyone? It is Brad or Demon Asylum here. I'm bringing you all a new Destiny video. Gonna be going over all of these steps we currently know about that you can do to work towards the Sleeper Simulant Heavy Fusion Rifle. Now, as of today, there is a new mission called the First Firewall, and today is October 7th. Sorry, I should have mentioned that right away. And uh, as of this day, there is a new mission, again, called the First Firewall that is available on Earth to those of us who have gotten all four of the Fusion Rifle Relics and handed them into the Gunsmith. Most of you are probably already familiar with these Relics. Uh, many of you, at least those have been playing Taken King since the first day, probably already have at least three of these, maybe even four like myself and many other people. And if you do have have all four and you've handed them all in, then this mission will be available to you. If you're someone who does not have all four of them, that means the mission will not be available to you and your best bet is probably to just go run strikes until you get whatever amount of remaining relics you need to get. Bungie did tweet out a bit ago making it sound as though this was not going to be a permanent thing to stay, that this is going to be likely just as the daily heroic was for the black spindle where that one day you can get it, but after that when the daily heroic changes you have to wait for it to come back around. They did say that it would be coming back in the near future, so although this time to get the sleeper simulant or at least work towards it is going to be going away probably tomorrow, it will be back in the near future for you guys to work towards again, likely when you have more relevant if you don't already have them all now. With all that information said now though, let's go ahead and get into what you can actually do as of right now to work towards getting the Sleeper Simulant. The first of which is obviously doing the first firewall mission again, which is on Earth. When you get to the end of this mission and you kill the boss, he will drop something called a Curious Transceiver. It is a legendary relic. It will appear in your inventory in your mission items next to, for example, where your uh, pledged allegiance towards a faction goes. What you're going to want to do next is inspect the actual relic and you'll see that there are two different rows here, a top and a bottom row. And this is where you're going to be inputting four different codes. Now I will tell you guys the codes right now, but I will also put them in the description because it may be kind of tough to follow along with the voice version of me explaining the codes rather than a text version. So again, I'll say them now but I'll also put them in the description for you guys. Now I'm going to be basing it off of as if the number one is the top row and the number two is the bottom row. And all of the codes are going to be the same for everybody. All of this is going to be the same for everyone in any instance. So you're just going to input them in this order. The first code you're going to put in is one, two, one, one, two, 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 one, two. So that's going to be the first code. And again, one means that you click on the top row and two means you click on the bottom row and you just go one after another. So you're going to have, you know, the top left is going to be one. And then if the next one after that is two, you're going to go ahead and choose. It should be pretty self-explanatory. But of course, if you guys have any questions, just post in the comment section below. The second code is going to be one, two, one, one, two, two, one, one. So that's going to be the second code. And after you enter each code, a new little box will appear. And of course, you're going to click on that. And then it'll bring up the opportunity for you to do the next one. Now, the third code is going to be longer. And if you didn't notice, the second code, the last one we just went over, was shorter than the first. This is going to be the longest one. We have 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1. So that is the third code. And then the final code, the fourth, is going to be one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one. So those are all four of the codes. And after all four of the past codes have been entered, of course, correctly, uh, you have access to a new mission called Shadow Call, which requires you to reach the top of the Devil's Spire uh, in Cade Stash mission within a time limit to collect your reward, which is going to be the Ikelos Fusion Core, and that is an exotic and basically the last piece of what you can do to work towards this Sleeper Simulant. Now once you've actually done the next mission and you've gotten the exotic item Ikelos Fusion Core, you'll notice that it still needs to be repaired. So this is where the next step comes in. You're going to need to do five different things here, although three of them are basically the same. The first thing you're going to want to do 
is dismantle any legendary or higher heavy weapon. So that means it can be a legendary or it can be an exotic. It just simply needs to be a heavy weapon. Doesn't matter if it's year one or obviously if it's year two. As long as you dismantle a legendary or exotic heavy weapon, uh, you will be good. And once you actually do dismantle it, you're going to have something pop up. Uh, basically saying something like heavy power coupling, I believe, or at least that's what it's going to correspond with. And then when you do that, you're going to go and inspect the Ikelos Fusion Core, which again will be in the mission item section, just like the first relic you got was that you did the codes for. You're going to go in there and you're just going to go ahead and hover over whichever one it lets you click on and to actually activate. The next one you're going to do after the heavy weapon is for ionized shell harmonics and that's going to require you to complete the archives mission on Venus on any difficulty. A lot of people have been trying to say you need to do it on heroic or that you should do it on heroic just to be safe but that does not matter. I personally did it on the default difficulty which is the lowest and so that is what you guys can do as well. Now to complete the three last parts of repairing this fusion core, you're going to need to do a Defend the Warsaw public event on Earth, the Moon, and Mars. If you guys need help on finding when the Warsaw events are going to be around, you should definitely go on www.destinypublicevents.com. That is a site that I personally have always used, and it's the one I also use to get this done myself. Definitely recommend it. Uh, just keep in mind if you're using this that it's not necessarily going to be where a public event will show up exactly when it says it will. Normally I wait until around 5 minutes after it says a public event is going to be there. And if it isn't there by 5 minutes after it'll say negative 5. Then I just leave and go to the next area or the next planet wherever I want to go for the next public event. Also note that some of you may be thinking for the Earth War Sat, you can just go ahead and load up the Saber Strike where you have to fight the Fallen Shank boss at the end. Uh, the War Sat in the beginning of that mission does not count towards your Earth War Sat completion. So again, that will not work. It has to be an actual Defend the War Sat public event on each planet. Once you've completed all five of the modules, you will be awarded with a reassembled Ikelos Fusion Core and you have to bring that to the Gunsmith in the Tower. After that, you're basically at a dead end. As of right now, no one really knows what's going to happen, but if I had to guess, like many others, I'm going to say that we probably just simply have to wait until next week's Tuesday or Wednesday reset. Now from there, will we be getting the Sleeper Simulant right away, or will it be just another part of the questline we're going to have to work towards? Again, no one really knows. When the reset does come around though, it's obviously also unknown if we're going to be given the gun or if we'll simply be given another part of the quest line. For a gun that seems to be such a big deal as is the Sleeper Simulant, I would say that we're probably going to get another part of the quest line and that we're not just going to be given the gun, but who knows, maybe it'll work out that way. Now the only other couple things I want to cover here are what some of you may be wondering. The first of which, is there any way to see how many of these fusion rifle relics I have to hand into the gunsmith that I have? Uh, unfortunately, there's no way to see if you have one, two, three, or four of them. If you have four of them, at least as of today, October 7th, you will have the first mission in this sleeper simulant quest line unlocked again, which is called the first firewall. If you don't have four of them on any given character, then the mission will not be available to you today, October 7th. After today, I'm not sure if this quest line's going away. I'm not sure when it's going to come back. So, for instance, if you're looking at this video on October 8th and the mission's not there for you, it may mean that you have them or you don't have them. There's really no way to know. If you play for a couple days a decent amount, especially if you're running strikes and such, and you don't find yourself getting any of these relics, that likely means you probably have all four of them, and you simply have to wait until the next time comes around in which we have an opportunity to work towards this quest line again. The last thing you guys may be wondering about is if gunsmith rank has any relation to this quest line whatsoever. As far as I know, it does not matter. Uh, the character that I first did this with was a rank 2 gunsmith, and that's like nothing. Obviously, it's only one rank higher than you can be at lowest, so I don't think it would matter if you're gunsmith rank 1, 2, or so forth. Uh, it doesn't seem like it would really matter. The main portion of this is just making sure that you have all four of the relics, and that way you can actually start the quest line.
So that's about it guys, that is all the information we currently have that is confirmed and also all of the steps that we can currently do to work towards getting the Sleeper Simulant Heavy Fusion Rifle. If you have any confusion about this video or any questions regarding the steps I've gone over, go ahead and post in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I can to help you. Aside from that, I do hope you all have enjoyed the video or found it helpful. If so, please feel free to drop a like on it down below and subscribe for many more Destiny videos to come. Thanks for watching everyone and peace out.